Hey everyone. We are looking at finding ways to enter math information into your worksheets and your assignments. And so this is another tool that you can use in connection with everything. It can be really hard to know how to type in math equations into all the information that's there and into the tools that are here. Now the first thing is you do want to make certain that in your equation that you have the math equations add-on. You'll see that there's this one called Equation Editor++, plus plus, and I talked about this in a different video. I have not been able to get it to work. It looks like it does, but it never seems to insert everything. So I use math equations, which once you have it loaded, and if you don't have it, go to the web store and you can get that downloaded if it's not already there you get this side panel that says math equations UI. There's a drop down that says text, math ML, and ASCII math. I use ASCII math. Text should work fine. Math ML, I'm not certain. I've never really played with it. You type your equations here and they'd show up down here in the bottom and then that's how they would look when they're added. It's getting the code right for the more complicated things. Well, we're going to look at a different tab here, and you'll see a website at the top, webdemo.myscript.com. You'll find it in the Canvas under the, uh, under the technology module. You'll see the web address for it. It's more than just math. It's got ways to write, but it allows you to actually write things. So I'm going to go to the math tab. I'm going to lower my tools here. And see, there's a way that I can write down on the bottom. So let's say that, let me flip back here, uh, absolute value of negative 5 plus b minus 3 equals negative 2. So absolute value negative 5 plus b absolute value and notice up top it's converting it for us. Minus 3 equals 2. And, or sorry, it should be a negative 2. So I'll drop a negative sign in there. Now, you'll see it converted it. It looks correct. So everything worked. You'll see on the side, now notice it's automatically converting, so we don't need to worry about it. It's in what's called LaTeX. That's the programming language that we want. You can see what the commands are and what you can do to put it in. You just sort of highlight it. I'm just using my mouse. You can't really click in this box, but you can highlight by just dragging your mouse. I'm going to do Control C for copy. Go back to my worksheet. Go here to the uh, math equations and paste it. Control V. And now notice it didn't quite do things. Notice there's a little bit extra on the bottom. It has this weird less than or equal to symbol and then an F. So what I might do is I might try this in text and see what it does. So text gave us a better option. If I was back here, I could have moved this to math ML and use that command system. I don't recommend it because it's a bit different. And now all I'd have to do is say add to slide. And it's going to take a bit. It, it always opens up really large. Even if you make this smaller large, for some reason it still does that. So now I can put this into my text box, make it the size that I want. And then I can go back. OK, I know that the next step is to add three to each side. So now there's no way to just erase on here, but I can delete that and I can say, okay, well, I know I'm going to have absolute value of negative five plus B absolute value equals. And when I add three to the other side with that negative two, I'm going to have a one. So I can copy and then paste. I'm going to leave it in text mode. 
and then add the slide. I want to finish this one problem off. I like all my fonts to be about the same size. Now, since it's an image, even though there's a text box here, you're not actually typing in the text box, it's just an image. You can't adjust this. There is a way to connect to equation. I've never really played with that. You could try if you'd like. Now we know that we're gonna have two different equations. Now in this case, I'm not gonna bother going to the, to the other website because I'm not gonna have any special symbols. I know I'm going to have negative five plus B equals one. So that's one equation. Now in the last video, we used this problem, but we actually typed in Desmos and cut and paste. And then I'm gonna have negative five plus B equals negative one, remember it's absolute value. And then all I'm gonna do to make it simple for myself is I'm going to move this over here. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna put one here. I'll put that one on the bottom this one on the top. I'm going to move this down some just to give some space. And then when I solve these, make this match that top one, and I can use arrow keys, remember to move images around. Then all I have to do is say, okay, well for the first one, B equals, well I'd add five, so I'm going to get a six. Delete. B equals six. It's actually connecting. Add the slide. Now at this point, I could have typed B equals six right into the text box, but it wouldn't line up well. It'd be hard to line it up. You could just make a separate text box. And if we add five to negative one, we get a four. And then if I just want to be clever and make it look right. I've got these commands here. I can do arrow commands. I can say, okay, well, this goes to there. This goes to there. This goes to there. And it goes to there. And then I can sort of separate this if I want, put a little non-arrow line there just to separate the two parts of it. Oh, I made an arrow though. I didn't ask it for an arrow, but and then if I wanted to I can then highlight if I go up to let's see here my I know that's not going to highlight, it's not really going to work well here, but I can, if I want, make a border. Right now it's transparent, but if I make it, let's say, I don't know, I'll make it red and make the border red so I can see that those are the answers. So you've got this other tool, this uh, my script tool that allows you to physically write. So if you're using one of the tablets, you can do that. You can write and be able to convert it in and it should work out fine. Uh, remember, the more complicated the item that you're writing, the harder it is for the software to see it. So that's when you might want to switch over to Desmos. Uh, this is the software that is similar to how Desmos works. You'll see a little grid on the bottom. I haven't really played with that, so I don't know uh, that side of it, but it will allow you a lot of options here. So hopefully this will give you a little bit to work with to help you in how to write some things.